Hey, I'm Liz, and this is Pancakes Makes. Get comfy, and let's hang out for a bit. Welcome back to my Building Stardew Valley series. This is episode four, and today we'll be recreating the Star Drop Saloon. The Star Drop Saloon is the only bar slash restaurant in Pelican Town, and it's the main social spot for many of the town's residents. Hi, Gus. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, the chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Stop in if you need any refreshments. I've always got hot coffee and cold beer at the ready. I'll definitely take you up on the coffee, but that'll be a hard pass on the beer for me. I'll leave that for Pam and Shane. So Gus runs the bar with the occasional help from Emily and they offer a variety of food, beverages, and recipes for purchase. You can even potentially buy Evelyn's cookie recipe here if you experienced a bug where her heart event didn't give you the recipe properly. There are lots of foods in Stardew Valley that I'm interested to try in real life, but maybe surprisingly, Evelyn's cookies are one of the foods that I am most intrigued by. Now, let me explain. So the description of them says that they are very chewy. Now, I love a chewy cookie and I've heard of plenty of cookies that are described as just chewy, but what would make a cookie very chewy? So this has me wondering. Maybe these cookies are made from some sort of mochi base, and I've never had that type of cookie before, but it sounds so good to me. Now, I'm definitely gonna have to try it and experiment to make my own version of Evelyn's cookies in real life. What foods or drinks from Sardew Valley are you most interested to try? Now that we've seen the saloon in Sardew Valley, let's take a look at it in The Sims 4. The Star Trap is a fairly plain stone and wood building on the outside, with the most defining feature being its large business sign. I kept to the original roofline and used similar exterior materials, but added a little depth by adjusting the shape of the front and back, as well as adding in a covered entry. The original building in Stardew Valley doesn't have any outdoor seating or live music space, but I thought these would be great additions, so I added them to the side here. I can picture Sam really honing his live performance skills here by practicing his music in front of the saloon regulars, which I'd imagine would be a tough crowd to please. Sam would learn how to have a thick skin with Pam and Shane in the crowd. One of the prominent decor features of the saloon is a giant bear sculpture in the right hand corner. We don't have something quite like that in The Sims, but I was able to make something similar by sizing up the bear sculpture from the woodworking table and placing it on top of the tree stump seat from Outdoor Retreat, and I think it works quite well as a stand-in. The bar area has quite a western feel in Stardew. I was inspired by the fancier woodworking and rustic features, but didn't want to go completely western here, as I wanted it to feel like it fits in with the rest of the builds. I'm recreating Pelican Town in Brindleton Bay, so I mixed in both western saloon and New England pub vibes here.
I did use a little bit too here. That skull is the best replacement I found for the steer skull hanging on the wall in the saloon, so I had to place it here. I fully support you if you don't have it though, you can just put something else in that spot. Maybe a chicken picture in honor of Gus's famous omelet. In order to keep the exterior looking similar to how it appears in Stardew Valley, I moved the games area and storage room to the basement. I included two arcade games down here. Even though there's no difference between them and The Sims, we can pretend one is Journey of the Prairie King and the other is Unimo Kart. We still don't have a pool table in The Sims 4, so I used a foosball table here instead. I also included a vending machine for Joja Cola, which for some reason Gus keeps stocked even though pretty much nobody likes it and it's basically considered trash. Again, to keep the exterior more similar to how it is in the game, I moved Gus's living area to the second floor. His dining area and bedroom have lots of green accents, so I did the same here. I also gave him a fully functional kitchen and bathroom, which he doesn't have in Stardew. And that's the whole build. I steered away from the full-on western vibe of the saloon in Stardew Valley by injecting some small town New England pub vibes here. I covered all the core features of the saloon while also adding in some additional gameplay areas as well. I really like how it all turned out, but tell me what you think in the comments. Now let's watch some scenes of how Gus and the rest of the residents use the space in live mode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, send a like my way. I have plenty more builds in this series coming, so if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Remember, be kind to yourself today, and I'll see you next time.